Welcome to Older Moms, celebrating the joy of motherhood later in life. Having children after 35 comes with unexpected challenges. Join us in this exciting, simultaneously terrifying journey. Now, please welcome your host, Dr. B, who became a first time mom at the age of 40. Welcome, Mama Crew, to another chaotic, exciting, but always beautiful day of an older mom like you. So there are two special days in November. The one we're all used to, Thanksgiving, and November 21st. Why, you might ask? Well, that's because that's when the elves on the shelf come home. And they stay all the way into Christmas Eve. Now, sometimes the elves pop in during the year to check out on the kids and make sure that the kids are doing okay, but the kids might need a reminder that it behooves them to behave well, okay? Otherwise, the elves are going to report to Santa Claus. But this year, the elves didn't check in during the year. I think it was because at the beginning of the year, the kids were being so good. And then with the pandemic, I think they had some travel restrictions. And besides that, I mean, it would have been hard for them to travel from house to house, checking up on kids, um, wearing face masks and gloves or disinfecting themselves constantly. I mean, their hands would have chapped and cracked. And how are they going to make all those toys help Santa out, right? Nevertheless, I tried to bribe our elves on the show to visit us early this year because, well, I miss the little buggers. Okay, so I went to Amazon and I bought them their own little travel bug. This little bag comes with a lot of fun stuff in it. I mean, what elf wouldn't be tempted by this fashion? Look at this. Hey, if you're listening to me on iTunes, you're going to have to go check me out on YouTube or check out the blog so you can see some of these fabulous fashion choices for elves. I mean, baby blue with a deer in front of it, maybe dancer or prancer, definitely not Rudolph because the nose is not red. And this beautiful gray t-shirt, my other ride is a sleigh. Santa on a sleigh. I mean, come on. You would have thought that the elves would have made up pit stop, right? Or my favorite one, express yourself with an elf picture on the front. But no. No, they did not come. So then I thought, maybe that was not fancy enough for them. I mean, Three of the elves in our home like their fashion. So I went back into Amazon and I got the cutest little dresses. I mean, personally, my favorite is this blue, silver sparkles. But this red and green, come on, who wouldn't want to wear this? Or this pink and blue. It's adorable. But it didn't work. What's wrong with these elves this year? I even resorted to getting essential oils, peppermint, pumpkin smell, apple smell, pine smell. I thought maybe I could get them confused, get them to visit us. No. No. Unbelievable the nerve of these elves. They would take no bribery. And the thing is that I miss their visits. I miss their visits because the kids would get so excited and you could feel the sense of Christmas. And then I thought to myself, maybe the problem is that last year they did not feel appreciated enough. Okay? Maybe we didn't make them feel like their day was special enough. So, this year, 
on the day they're supposed to definitely return. Yes, I'm going to leave their gifts out so they can change if they want to. But who knows? They've been very finicky this year. Okay? But I'm leaving them out anyhow. You never know with an elf on the shelf. I decided that on the 21st, I'm going to cook a special meal. Have the family all sit around and watch all Christmas movies. Okay? My favorite is not the Grinch. I know, I'm kind of grinchy. We did one year um, decorate our golf cart for the Christmas parade in Old Grinch, and we were Teen Grinch. But the Grinchy movie is just not my cup of tea. Okay? My favorite movie is A Christmas Story. You know, the one with Ralphie and his little brother and the dogs coming in and eating the turkey and they have their first Chinese Christmas. That's my favorite one. So maybe I'll, I'll put that one on. And then, of course, my other old-time favorite is The Rise of the Guardians. I mean, you have Jack Frost. Come on, he's hot. For a cold, frozen guy, he's really hot. The girls definitely think he's cute. And of course, there's also Tooth Fairy. She is really cute, too. Santa's kind of different with all that tattoos. And Bunny, well, he looks more like a kangaroo. I'm sorry, Bunny, but it's true. But that's our other favorite Christmas movie. And who knows, maybe this year... We'll add a third one to the bunch. Ask the kids what it is that they enjoy, what they would like to see. And I'm hoping that if the elves feel our family unity, our love, our warmth, maybe this coming year they won't be so shy and they'll visit us more often. And I don't know, what do you think? Cookies and milk? Would cookies and milk help the elves feel appreciated? Or maybe, I'm thinking pork tenderloin with apricot and apricot apple. No, an apricot crumble with vanilla ice cream for dinner that day. Maybe if I leave some out for the elves, they'll be tempted to return. I mean, baked goods, baked goods, warms anybody hard, and I bet you hard-working elves in the North Pole could use an apricot crumble vanilla dessert break. I think so. And maybe if I put it next to a picture of Bug, a little bugaboo, and they see how cute he is, and they realize what a handful he is, and how much I could use some help during the year. They might come and pay him a visit, sit by his computer for a little while, and remind him that I excel is good for you. <laughs> or sit on the bookshelf and remind him that in order to move on to a next reader, kind of have to get the sideboards done on the first two. I don't know. It used to do wonder for the girls. Maybe it would do wonders for him too. Or maybe, no, they couldn't possibly want an early Christmas tree this year, could they? No, they know that our family does not put out the Christmas tree until the day after Thanksgiving. That Friday, they know the tree goes up. So, I don't think their feelings was hurt. I think it was just that this year has been so chaotic and with the pandemic, they've had a hard time traveling. I mean, after all, there's so many restrictions between countries. We can't travel to Canada. Canadians can't travel to the United States. We can't travel to Europe. I mean, what is an elf supposed to do? Can you imagine all the paperwork they have to go through in order to go from country to country? And then... Of course, they're going to have to have the test done before they leave 
the North Pole. And then they're going to come all the way to Florida for just a little brief visit. And then they're going to have to have the test back to go all the way back. And then the quarantine, I mean, they're busy else. They have a lot of work to do. So, you know, I think maybe that's the reason that they couldn't make it this year. A lot of red tape going on this year. Kind of makes you wonder about poor Santa. What is poor Santa going to have to go through in order to deliver these gifts this year? I am excited. I'm so excited for the elves to make their appearance on November 21st. Because year after year, even Dora, who says she does not believe in Santa Claus, the moment that she sees her elf appear, there's such shrieks of joy and of innocence in childhood. That beautiful magic where children still believe that dreams can come true, that magic still exists, that there's goodness and perfection someplace in this world. I hear it in her shrieks. And Oh my gosh, Andy jumps up and down. She looks like a, a rubber spring or like she just went on a bubble stick. Or maybe like Bunny from Rise of the Guardians. She's jumping around and she's so excited. And Emmy, who is the most low-key of the three, she will be grinning from ear to ear and just can't wait to see what fashion choice the elf has made this year. And her elf is into fashion, let me tell you. She's come up with some juicies over the years. And Bug, my little bugaboo, still five years old, still enveloped in the magic that is childhood. He gets so excited. His whole face changes. And you see his smile just widen. And it's in those moments I experienced his childhood and the girl's early years all in an instant because he is still so full, so complete of that magic. And that magic is so strong that it even goes back and touches my childhood memories and turns some of that bleakness, it tones it down, it brings out the best in those memories, somehow managing to leave the worst behind. It rescues them. And that's such a wonderful feeling because I feel like he's rescuing those memories, not just so that I can share the pleasant moments with them, not just so that I can appreciate the fact that my mother tried so hard, but so that I can rescue them from my grandchildren that haven't even been conceived, that don't exist yet, not in the mind, not in the heart. But some place we call the future. The future I might not even be part of. But that I will be able to touch through the stories that my children pass on. I am hopeful that, despite the fact that I'm an older mom, I will get to see a couple of Christmases with those grandchildren that are going to happen sometime in the future. No, not the near future. Okay, my heart would leave out of that. But, you know, 10, 13 years from now, that'd be perfectly okay. <laughs> 10, 13 years, you heard me. It's official. Not a day earlier. I hope I get to see them when they find their first elf visiting them. And... If I'm lucky the second or third time, when they're dying of expectation, when they want to see what the elves will be wearing, when they're asking themselves what they could possibly do to 
bribe those elves to show up a little bit earlier to pay them a visit. Or when mom decides to call on the elves because she's stressed out and could use a little help, a little nudge for the kids so that they behave better. I hope. And I guess that's what the elves represent for me. Hope. Hope for better behavior, overcoming of challenges, a glimpse into a future with grandchildren. Thankfully, I have two daughters that promise to be grandchildren. The other one only promises for grandchildren. I will love those two, and I will spoil those as well. A lot, because that's what we must do. And I will help my grandchildren. Four babies or two legged ones try to buy the elves on the shelves for a visit. I mean, me and my cat are so, you know, I'm prepared to start making those outfits. So for now, I will count the days until the elves show up, and then I will share with you the excitement of this year's. Visit. So be sure to follow me on my Facebook fan page and Instagram. You don't want to miss out the emergence, the appearance, the grand entrance of the elves on the shelf. So, if you're sharing an epic journey to motherhood, please subscribe to our blog, podcast, or YouTube channel for links and resources. Please check out our website. Till next time, doodles. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Celebrating the Joy of Motherhood Later in Life. Head over to OlderMomsBlog.com for more information and resources. That's OlderMomsBlog.com. Until next time.